Throughout the existence of mankind, the food we ate was almost entirely full of nutrients. This all changed in the last century with the American diet and its influences around the world. Now, for the first time in history, our diet can be highly destructive. Probably, the healthiest thing for us is movement, but yet we do less of it than we ever have. Stress is also a stronger factor in poor health of the modern world than it has been in the past. I've heard people make the argument that we as a society are healthy because we are living longer than those before us. It was generally infant death mortality or childhood diseases that took the life expectancy down in the past. Several studies have shown that the life expectancy today of a teenager is only shortly longer than even our Paleolithic or Stone Age ancestors who lived thousands of years ago. Some studies have shown, at times, the Paleolithic teenager lived as long and if violence were removed as a factor in death, then they lived longer than we do. Over the course of the last several thousand, even more than 10,000 years, we have done a poor job of increasing our life expectancy. We live in worse general health than we ever have. Right now, because of poor health, life expectancy in the U.S. is actually decreasing. Science still has a lot to learn in what diet does for our brain and body. The effects of a poor diet and eating non-foods are beginning to be understood. There is still much to know about how we should go about our choices of food for optimal, physical, emotional, and mental performance. But it is clear our present manufactured foods are not good for us. This playlist is my attempt to understand health the best I can. I will research and report on my findings. I encourage you to research as well. And if you find something particularly interesting, let us know by posting it below. I have always been fascinated in what leads to optimal performance. I have trained athletically throughout my life. This was on organized teams for more than 10 years in baseball, basketball, and football. I reached a point in which a number of coaches thought I would be a first round draft pick for Major League Baseball. Injuries prevented this. I was a co-captain for the school track team. I've done a fair amount of mountain climbing, marathon running, long range biking, have done hikes up to 250 miles, 50 miles in a single day, I also participated in the U.S. Olympic trials, but a surgery a short time before prevented me from making the Olympic team. Though my health has generally been good, I have had my challenges. Challenges with injuries. My guess is that had my diet been better, I think it is unlikely I would have had many of these injuries. People are often resistant to following concepts of good health. Instead, living in poor health, often with diabetes, low energy, constant pain, and a great deal of weight. Many intend to make the changes to good, health, good habits, but fail to follow through. Not all the information on health is in agreement, but most of it is. Ultimately, if you really want to be in the best health, you have to customize it for you. You have to experiment. However, before experimenting, it would be prudent to check in with a doctor. Health is an important part of potential. What we feed our body makes a difference in our energy, ability to physically perform, and how we look. What we feed our brain is critical to thinking, creating, and implementing. Once you really get into this, you may want to see more specialized doctors, therapists, rolfers, nutritionists, functional medicine doctors, and others that can be helpful.
I plan to research and produce episodes on different practitioners related to health. I challenge you to improve your health. Please support this channel by subscribing below. And thank you so much for watching.